Throughout my art and animation career online, I've seen a number of people uh, struggle in making their own comic or their own animated series, and I've been in the same boat. I am in the same boat, actually. I have an animated series. Uh, <laughs> check that out. Anyway, <laughs> uh, he, these are the major problems that I see people have when making uh, an animated series or a comic. Lack of time, lack of talent, no patience, and no resources. So I'm gonna go in each one in detail. Lack of time, you just don't have time to do it. You have school, you have a job, and it takes up most of your schedule so you won't have time to take part in a comic or an animation that takes hours upon hours just to draw each cut. I have a solution to this. You're not gonna finish an animated series or an episode of it or a comic chapter in a week it's gonna take some time it's gonna take a few months four or five maybe six months but so what I'd say to like narrow that down is to create a team build a team for people to help you willing people don't force them all right they will give you assistance right and another tip Please create a schedule. You just can't be doing this off and off, on, on and off, I should say. You have to create a concrete schedule. When am I gonna do this? When is this gonna be done? Set deadlines. When is this gonna be done? When is this gonna be done? Until what you finally want to be done is done, which is the episode, so you can release it accordingly. Or the comic chapter. Another problem I see people have is a lack of talent. As in, like, they can't draw or they can't voice act, or they can't write. And to that, I'd just say, there are two solutions. Uh, hire someone, right? But here's the best solution, in my opinion. Just learn it yourself. It's gonna take some time to learn, right? But it's worth it because you're not gonna use that expertise just for that project. You're gonna use it for other things too, right? So it's gonna stick with you for your whole life. So I might as well just do that. The third problem I see people have is a lack of patience. Uh, like, they don't want to sit in front of a computer or a piece of paper for hours upon hours, or they don't want to go through the managing process, or they don't want to make videos to advertising or make posts to advertising. And all I want, and all I'm going to say here is just like, don't be lazy, just do it. Like, just do it. I mean, there's nothing I can really say otherwise. Uh, that's all I have here, like, just build up. If you really wanted to do it, you would have, I guess, you would have not have been hesitant to go through this process. You would have just done it. So if you really have the drive, you should just do it. The fourth problem I see people have is they don't have any resources. They don't have a drawing tablet. They don't have a microphone. They don't have other VAs. So what I'd say is, if you have a job, take a portion of that money to invest in better equipment. Or if you already have moderate equipment and you think you're a really good artist or an animator, uh, host commissions. Make people buy your commissions so that you can earn money and then use that money to get better resources. And if you need more voice actors, there's a website that I really recommend called castingcall.club casting club, hundreds, no, thousands of voice actors, artists, animators, even though getting animators on your project is a little harder because it's more time investing, right? I would know. But it's a really good website to find talent for your project. So you may be asking, how do I get this thing started? How do I build traction? How do I make people know about my work? Well. In order to make yourself known, it's easier than it looks. So basically my strategy is I post smaller animations and smaller uh, art pieces that are still extremely good on the internet, everywhere on the internet to uh, get people interested and basically want more and I'll give them more in the term of uh, the project that I'm working on, the big, big project. Uh, another thing, another um, tip I have is to make accounts 
You should make an account for every major social media platform so you can promote it everywhere. You don't have to shove it in people's faces, just, just, but just put it out there that you exist and you're making a project and the people who care will come to you. And the last tip I have for getting people to know who you are is just don't give up. Don't give up on your project. Just do it. It's not going to take a week to do. It's a long-term project, but it's going to be worth it in the end because it's what you want to do. You're going to have a bunch of people following you, wanting to know what you do. And it's just going to be beneficial in the long run if you advertise it properly, if you make the project quality. And yeah, that's basically it. That's all the tips I have. Yeah, I'm not an expert, but this is what I think I can share that has worked. So yeah, just keep that into mind. And I hope you have great success getting your project out there and making people know that you exist. Catch you later.